<laughs> Admitted you were scared. Wanna lift? Hey guys, it's Vina, and welcome back to Rayman 3. In the last part, we entered the Tower of the Leptus, and in this part, we uh, are now flying around. This reminds me of the uh, the flying shell segments. Also, you take damage by hitting any wall, and Globox is a big dude. He's a big guy. You can also rotate with the L1 and R1 button. But this is a very interesting part of the game, because... Because it's a turret segment. And this mechanic is going to be used by the final boss. Slight spoiler, but uh, <laughs> it's a, this is very interesting because you have to get used to the fact that the uh, shooting with the turret. And each... Uh, oh, you can't hold down. Okay, nice. Nice, okay, here we go. So all you gotta do is just shoot the dudes. Uh, also, the controls are inverted. Which, I actually like inverted uh, Y-axis controls when it comes to this stuff. Oh. <laughs> Check out these gears! Remarkable! Andre's already the heavy machinery. What a precocious child. What <laughs> a child. So anyway, so we gotta fly through these areas. Not taking a lot of damage, just fly around. It's unlike the flying shell segment from the first game. Uh, or the second game in particular, not the first game. The Mighty Tetris. This is a very interesting looking part of the game, and especially because uh, you don't really know which side is up. I'd say this way is up, especially because the game is now making us go up. Um, but it's it's intriguing because it's just like too late right to the end of the game. You can't just introduce a randomly new mechanic. I don't know. Can you? Apparently you can. Um, I'm not the best at these parts. The the timing and the accuracy is very off. Like seriously, if you if you think this is a bit awkward looking, it is a bit. But it, it it's fine. I'm living. Also, look at that combo, jeez, let's get 30 points for each one. And there's a lot of ton of these dudes. Also, yeah, I'm taking a lot of hits. Nice. I also like Ali probably taking down most of these pillars. I really hope I don't just casually game over here. I want to be like, yeah, I beat this game without even, like, dying at all. Game over's not too bad in this game. Like, it's, it's, it's not a big deal. You just resume. Andy, I know you can hear me. Stop being a bad boy. Come back to the good side. Back to the good side. Oh. Oh, jeez. Hey, man, looks like you found the flusher. The flusher. So, I... it even smells good. Very impressive. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah. Sometimes it's a bit hard to know your depth. You gotta kind of rotate a little bit, figure it out. Also, I don't have a lot of health. We're here. Oh, sweet. There we go. We did it. I lived. I didn't die. Isn't that great? So we get out, and you're like, oh, man, how many points do I get? 73%. Like, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> um, so, yeah. If you're wondering, in the last part, I said I'm not playing any of the bonus levels. And that's... I mean, you see, I you need a lot of points in order to get all the bonus levels. Also, this... Uh, oh, okay. With the energy from your mighty scepter, I will be able to reproduce infinitely. <laughs> All right. So, we're just building up the final boss here.
Just get some nice gems before you get in. Yeah, good combo, you know. And here we are. Here we are. So Reflux looks a little different. And he is also extremely cheap. Like, look at this stuff. It literally goes right in front of you. There's no easy way to, to beat him like this. Now, for this boss fight, there are both uh, red power-ups and blue power-ups. And what you have to do is you have to grab the blue one and lock on and just constantly uh, hit his shield. Until it goes away. Then, you grab the red power up, and maybe don't get zapped, because it just wastes time. I said maybe don't get zapped, because it wastes time. And you use the red power to hit him. You see how I got a lot of hits on him? I know, I'm pretty good at this game. But holy crap, these, these projectiles are literally the worst thing. Like, the worst thing about this fight, hands down. Not these things. These things are fine, man. You can dodge them easy. There we go. So now we just gotta grab the grab the red power. I'm just wasting my time here, dude. I'm only getting like a couple of hits on him, and he is just completely wrecking me with this. He is like he is hard as heck. He is definitely hard guy to beat. Let's see if I can be a bit smarter and try to dodge him. I got hit once, nice. Are you <sighs> See, you're slower also when you're, when you're, um, uh, also, his shots go faster over time. Although, although they're, it's probably about the same amount that's coming straight at you. It's probably, it's probably the same amount, it's just, he fires more all around, so it makes you panic a bit more, and of course you can't wildly move around now. Uh, red point. Oh, oh, oh. How awesome am I? I'm dodging them all! I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm actually making progress. That's a good sign. Still kind of throws you off that the boss bar reaches longer over to the right than, than your uh, health bar. You can't exactly use it as an equal measurement. Oh, oh, pro dodge. Oh my gosh. You're <laughs> just looking at what's going on. Oh my goodness. Come on. Just go grab that. There we go. He also just constantly fires more. Come on. There we go. Uh, I doubt. I can beat him in this one, especially now that I just got hit. Double hits. Two hits. Two hits. I had a good run. I had like a, a moment when I was brilliantly dodging all of these. And now it's just completely gone. But that's okay. We're making progress. We're making bacon. Here we go. Got it down. Red power. Uh, and punch. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Bam, there we go. Now that's the first phase done. Now, he breaks the scepter and sticks it into his back. And you get that lovely, pleasant sound. Well, he gets kind of big. So, anyway. We've now- oh, jeez. <laughs> so now the fight is, uh... A bit more interesting, because you're wondering, what the heck? What you want to do is not... I guess it doesn't count as a generic ground pound attack. You don't want to get hit by that. Which I'm doing a great job of getting hit by it. Um, you need to go all the way around to get the blue power. You gotta duck every time he swipes. Doesn't matter which direction. And just jump. Otherwise. Now 
Now here's the thing, once you get kind of close, he's going to drop all these mines. Nothing too bad. He's also going to do that, and that gives you plenty of time to grab the red power, build a punch, and head up to the top and just whack it a couple of times. That's all you got to do. He's, this, this phase is probably not too bad. That's actually a surprising amount of damage. Now, the only big problem is that there's only one blue power up, and it's on the other side of the place, so... You basically have to run around quite a bit in order to fight this guy. Ooh. Ooh. Get mad. There we go. I don't believe you take damage if you do get hit, but because you're in the air, you move a bit slower. I think he also goes for a swipe right- Ah, oh, I couldn't, couldn't get out of that one. But this phase is not too bad. And then he starts spitting out these again. Oh boy. He'll, he'll always punch you when you get close, just so that you can do this. You don't have to wait or anything. Other than that, this is a pretty tame section. <laughs> it's not too bad. I mean, yeah, like, of course, the standard three-phase fight, because it's always three phases. There you go, you see what I mean? Also, yeah, he goes with the swipe right afterwards if you do get hit by it, so... You're actually gonna take a hit. Oh! You can, of course, hover. You can, of course, get out of it. It's on the end of the world. But he, he gets so fast on his hits, it's like, ooh, geez. Also... Also... Oof! Oof! Building the pace here. Oh, jeez! Stop! Please! I can't even react to that, like, come on. Sometimes I think it would be better if I got hit that way. Yeah, 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 just slap me in that direction. I just realized my health is that low. That's okay. So I'm gonna... Build up my punch. And get him in the, in the thing. There we go. So that's phase two down. But it keeps going. It keeps going. Because now, he's uh, flying. So maybe you're wondering, how are you going to hit him now? Well, good sir. We've got some health on the bottom. And now we've got a bit more of a, a bit more of a platformy thing rather than just a fight the boss kind of, kind of deal. So what you need to do is you got to get to the uh, see the uh, propeller hat. And you've just got oh camera. <laughs> oh, what you got to do is you basically just got to fly to the top. Every time you hear that kind of high pitched thing, you basically move them up one level. You've just got to keep moving up as he moves up, and that's good. Other than that, there's not really an easy way to get out of his attacks. You just have to kind of um, go up. By the way, that sound also means that the platform below you are disappearing, which isn't really the best thing. Drop. Come on, come on, come on, come on, pick one up, pick one up, pick one up, don't fall all the way back down. Don't fall, get this one. No! No! I went all the way back down, you kidding me. The platforms do come back. Although granted, you could probably fly up here without needing any of these platforms. Biggest problem is uh, depth, because you can't exactly, can't exactly uh, win with the depth here. At least the platforms come back, and then for some reason disappear immediately. Oh, can't make that jump. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna fall back down all the way. Stop it. Let the platforms come back. There you go. 
I think that's what I was waiting for. <sighs> Dude, I'm, I'm a little afraid because my health is really low. And while the penalty for game overing is not redoing the entire, like, boss fight, I believe it is back to the phase. It's always back to the phase, so... At least you don't lose a butt ton of progress. He seems to attack at the same spots every time. I didn't even get the height on that one. Whoa, whoa. What? Why'd I move down? Alright, I got this one. Oh, nice. Nice. Sure. Sure, game. Sure. Just, again, completely get rid of my platforms. You're kidding me. Come on. I'm not even bothering to go for the health. I feel like what this section actually ends up being. It's depending on the amount of time that you're in the air, the platforms go away. So I need to run really quick. I'm out of that one. I made this jump, which means I can get up here and finally, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go, there we go. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Like, I'm up on this platform, but I can't exactly do anything. No, I was relying on that platform! Wait, I can get this. No, nope. okay. Are you kidding? Why is this? Why is this the one that's causing me the problems? What? <laughs> Not me angry at the game, this is just me being like really terrible for no reason. Like, I have no clue why. I have no idea why I'm doing so awfully right here. I think the thing is, every time you see him react, he's going for a platform. Like, I, I, I don't think I've had this much trouble on uh, this phase in particular before. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, I gotta go over to the left, there's the power-ups over there. And then, you get this. You get the rocket. I, you don't even need to aim, you just go for it. Bam! That's all you need to do. He's got a health bar for this phase, but you don't actually do it. So, it keeps going! <laughs> Now he grows wings! Like what? Alright. Anyway. Come on, Come on, is here. They're headed for the Tetris. Whoosh. So the the battle keeps going. I know, it's like what? <laughs> eh. So this is a kinda interesting phase of the fight and also for, for your pleasure it is the last phase of the fight also for some odd reason the gun does not automatically shoot anymore uh, if you hold down the button you have to click it because otherwise it only fires that much which is weird why do you do that anyway the whole point is that you have to shoot the projectiles he's firing at you but also the shield that's now on his back rather than his front i guess as long as you deplete the shield and keep shooting it a bit, he falls over a little bit, and then he does it again. You have to kind of keep going a little bit. It's also a bit hard to hit him while you're turning, but hey, you can't help that, and 
Time-wise, it's okay. Um, so yeah, I, uh, because the game's almost over, I want to know what your guys' thoughts about this game is. Uh, I actually think, you know, slight hiatus aside, I've played this over. I had about one hour. Oh. Oh. That on goof. I think he's supposed to shoot that, shoot the thing on his back. He's gonna go for another punch, isn't he? He's just waiting for the timing. There you go. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm shooting that. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't really going for it then. He's not really hitting me with his punches either. That one did not look like I was aiming for it, but pretty much you just have to stall him for as much as you can in the beginning part without getting hit as much as you want. And then, uh, kind of shoots hoodlums from his back. What? This game's a little messed. He starts doing this weird thing. He got some jamming music, and then suddenly, different controls? What you need to do is you need to take out as many hoodlums as you can. They're all gonna try and go back for him, and all you gotta do is AoE hit them. Now, it's very hard to get all of them this first time. But each one that goes back to him recovers his health. Now, of course, if all of them go back, he recovers all of his health, but not a partial, not a fraction. Uh, as long as long as you're hitting some, you're making progress. Ideally, you can get them after so many cycles, of course, but... Um, so now, uh, you'll see his health bar, and that's how many I got. Which, that's a, that's actually a pretty good number. Uh, I gotta hit these things. So yeah, so I wanna know what your guys, uh, opinions of this game are. Have you played it? Have you, um... Uh... Have you played it before? Have you... Do you want to play it? Do you not want to play it? Any reason why? Uh... Like, I don't want to be like, oh, post in the comments, like, comment, subscribe! Oh, blah, 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 blah. But, uh... You know, of course, uh... I, I would love comments because I, I always want to discuss stuff with you. I don't... Not a lot of people comment so that, you know, I can at least respond to every comment that comes in. Which is... That's fine. Um... Damn, the music, man. Uh, come on, get the, get the thing. There we go. I think that's enough. Now it's gonna do the charge attack. Which. It's just gonna aim down. <laughs> that's a little weird as uh, Andre keeps talking about. Sorry, sorry, Global keeps talking about rescuing Andre. Which is a little weird. A little weird. You think he's been paying attention or anything? Maybe he's grown to like him. Anyway, we got more of this. What's weird is that this controls completely differently to how the the thing drives, because I'm not moving this, this automatically moves. Just forward. But it's, it's such an interesting boss fight, man. And and it's a long one, it's a it's a long boss fight, but. I, I really do like this game, because all the bosses are nice, it's visually very neat. Um, like, graphically, I, I'd say graphically it's pretty standard, but design-wise, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm going, man, for 2003? Just increase the resolution on that, it's picturesque, pretty much. It's a very, it's a very nice looking game. I, th I think games from the PS2 era a bit onwards. Uh, some of the more higher quality ones like Ratchet and Clank, Jack and Axta, which I haven't played, and no spoilers. Uh, uh, I would love to play those games, um, but I don't own a PS3, and I would also like to own a PS3 just to be able to play all these older games, because I sell them, and not particularly because... Um, not particularly for any PS3 games in particular. <laughs> Did I say it not particularly in particular? I'm great at the English language. Uh, I'm what, I don't think we can three cycle this guy. But I believe the fight does end once this boss bar goes down, but it's a long one. It, this is a lengthy stage of the boss fight. And in fact, uh, you can stop playing the game. Like, you can turn off the game because it's a different map for this phase of the fight. 
I gotta aim him down a bit. It's a little weird why he waits, you know? There we go. That's a good angle. There we go. Look, I'll make you a deal. Let Andy go, and we'll let you capture his piece. Hey! <laughs> Now let's see how many of these do he pops out. E each time, he's only putting less and less. So, maybe I'll be able to get all of them this time. Probably not, there'll be like one left. And it's hard, because you don't exactly have like a radar or anything. You can't, you can't judge where they are. Oh, that's terrible. Ow. No, 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 get that one, get that one. Got him. Alright. He's always going for one more phase. There's like two hoodlums left. There's two of them. Come on. <laughs> it's probably gonna be four, four cycles when you play this game as well. If you play this game, that's. But, uh, and then, and then, uh, because it's always the end of the Let's Play, I always like talking about how I handle it and. Apart from huge hiatus after four parts, I feel very good about recording this stuff, and hopefully I've been uploading them quite frequently. I'm, I'm making a bit, a lot more of an effort to fit in a room and try to get this, uh, these videos out in batch. I don't want to stop Let's Play. I, I, I enjoy doing it, and I also enjoy um, those who do comment and those who do talk to me. It's great having conversations about this stuff. Um, so, keep doing that, and, yeah. Of course, I wanna, I wanna definitely play a lot more games, especially using this, uh, this, uh, setup, because I can basically play any RCA, HDMI composite game, um, basically all of them, uh, except for, like, the 5200, that's weird, wrong thing. Except I don't own a 5200, do I? There we go. Oh, I guess that was enough to beat him. That was it. I guess he takes a bit of damage each time. Anyway. Turns to the crystal. And Andre is just all like... No! Don't touch me! No! No! Globox! Help me! I'm scared! No! There you go. And that's Rayman 3. So, by defeating Andre, turning him back into a red lum. Hey, we're back where we started. Looks like we get a full night's sleep after all. <laughs> full night's sleep? Kidding me? Hey, what's the matter, Globox? It's Andy. I miss him. You know, he's happier now. Look at the red lungs. How happy they seem. I don't care. I want my Andy. I'm not sure that's such a good idea. Besides, I wouldn't know how to do it. You have to scare a red lung. I hate to imagine what could possibly scare a lung. Well, that was it. Dun 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 dun. Dun dun dun. I, to be honest, I don't know what's with the ending of this game. Well, we did it, and I saved the world, but how do I know if I'm awesome at this game? To find out, register on RayMaxon.com and enter this code. This website actually doesn't exist, but a fan website, and I greatly appreciate it, a fan website has asked Ubisoft for the back end to that service and are hosting their own Lums Race service. 
basically the lum trace service is just that that code that they generated is purely um purely represents your score and the amount of uh um teensies you rescued that's about it <laughs> and people have yes indeed figured out the code to get all the score and all the teensies and put it on that website but of course this came out in 2003 and before online uh features were really standard in games and before online was really a common thing that you'd have in your consoles so with that we just send the credits i want to say thank you guys for watching this if you've stuck around for forever for anything past part four and if you have watched the whole thing from the start to finish uh i would recommend buying this game i put a link in the description for the gog version i'm, I'm not i'm not promoted by these guys because what kind of what kind of paid promotion let's play is the whole game like come on come on no one would do that um but it's definitely good fun it's it's actually <laughs> a lot shorter than i remember um yeah but that's all right it's it's great fun and it's a little sad that they never went back to this style of Rayman because after this game uh, came Rayman Raving Rabbits for the Wii and then Rayman Raving Rabbits 2 and then Rayman Raving Rabbits TV Party and then Rabbits Around the World and basically Rabbits became its own franchise and just kind of completely took over uh, very similar to how the Minions took over Despicable Me did in a strange strange way we've just had this <laughs> Same thing happened twice, but fortunately, uh, Rayman Origins, released in 2010, came out, and everyone loves it. It was, it's an absolutely phenomenally great platformer, um, and that's some, that's a game I would definitely recommend, and thank you, Bonus Levels, for being developed by a bunch of people separately. All right, um, and then, uh, they released a sequel to that, Rayman Legends, where I kind of more of the same, but a bit more zany and much more variety in the levels and i absolutely love that game as well uh would i play it maybe the option's always open and of course the option's always open to play rayman 2 again because i don't think i let's play that since 2009 2010 maybe uh on on the crappy uh analog <laughs> video uh system setup i had But nah, it's, it's a solid, this is a solid game, and I would definitely recommend this one, and it's great fun, and it's something that I really wanted to play for a long time, but I, like, my capture setup was terrible, and on top of that, it relied on an old HP computer I had from before 2011, um, which, for some odd reason, had composite into the, had a composite capture into it, but it was really poor, and on top of that, I couldn't get my TV out. To go into it but i could get the tv out to go into a weird receptor in which then went into it and it ended up resulting in poor quality but now i have a 1080p 30 or 720p 60 capture device and i've been recording it at 720 at 60 because i think the 60 is very very important or at least the 50 because european um but yeah so tell me uh did you like this game uh, did you like watching this game? Did you like my commentary on it? Um, capture quality is good. Uh, the, basically, broken record. I'm saying all the same stuff over and over and over again. I'm letting the credits go, though, because I really do want everyone's name to appear uh, in this video. Just, just for good credit. It's a bit of a shame, because I didn't think this game sold poorly. I thought this sold quite nicely. So... It's surprising that they just ended up stopping. And in fact, in fact, Rayman Raving Rabbids was supposed to be a bit more of a of a similar to this game. A lot of its mechanics and a lot of its uh, gameplay ideas came from this game. Um, but the but then just design. I don't know if the pub not the publisher, but uh, designers and uh, the producer decided to change his way of thinking of the project. And they ended up taking all these concepts that they had made for levels, and then they just turned it into a mini-game based game. And... You know, I, I don't think Raving Rabbits is a downright terrible game, but I tried doing a Let's Play of it actually last year, 
I've just got bored playing it, so that's something that is definitely concerning if you get bored playing the game. Um, yeah, marketing team. Uh, yeah, but no, Raving Rabbits is a it's an okay game. I think the rest of them, I actually like uh, TV Party the most. I think the games in that one is probably the best. Um, but of course, only the first game has the actual single player mode, and the rest of them are just kind of play the mini games, I guess. Perhaps it's riding off the Mario Party trend. Hey, Gustave! Perhaps the other reason why Rayman 3 just, uh, or why Rayman didn't really continue on is because of Assassin's Creed. Because they realized, Ubisoft realized that they make more money with that, and then Just Dance came a bit later. And that's it. Game just ends. Flat out, it just exits. Um, there's not really anything you can do left in the game apart from get your Lums Race key, which you can get that any time by replaying any level and improving upon it. And, uh, you can also watch these cinematics, but I won't, I won't, uh... Oh, and the and the extra lessons, but I won't show those off because that's something you can either Google or play the game for yourself. And I think I've done a good run. I got two of these uh, Murphy stamps at the end. I got fifty-seven of the teensies, which is quite surprising because I I didn't look any of that up. So, but anyway, with that, I'll see you guys in the next game, uh, and I'll actually be playing two games at the same time. Not in two Let's Plays going on at the same time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching so much. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!